Hello everybody, Joseph Anderson again. Um, I have a service call here at one of these uh, properties, commercial properties. I'm actually working on a uh, three ton uh, ICP unit. Um, what was going on with it, it was actually, uh, I'm not cooling. Um, when I came up to it, it actually had a uh, bad dual cap. It's for your condenser fan and I'll show you that right now. Okay, what we're here, this is your actually a dual cap or a run cap. It's actually for your um, condenser fan. It's a uh, seven and a half microfarad cap. You notice it's just two wires or uh, three wires. There's uh, the brown is your from your um, your motor and the other one is your common. Okay. Um, if you look on here, turn this thing around, it actually says seven and a half microfarad oval ca ca uh, capacitor. Um, this is actually what it needed to actually get the fan running. That's all it needed because the condenser fan when I came up to it wasn't actually running. Um, just the compressor would run and then it would overheat and then shut down. Um, so what you do on here, um, to actually check it, you look on the cap, it'll tell you what microfarad is. You just take your leads from your meter, go to microfarads, read from one side to the next, and it should give you um, what the microfarads are like on this one here. It's supposed to be a seven and a half I was actually reading a four and a half. So it's low. It's not going to start up your motor um, So I go ahead and change that out um, Notice fan is running now Now we're just coming around. I'm going to check the pressures All right, um, looks like we might be Slightly low um, This is a r22 unit. So your pressure's got to be around 65 70 on your low side if you notice, we're under 50, so it's not actually cooling. Uh, and your head head pressure should be closer to 300, maybe 350. Um, it's probably about 92 degrees outside, give or take. Um, so we'll go ahead and add a little bit of refrigerant. Um, I actually already looked to see if there's any leaks. It doesn't seem like there's any leaks, so um, maybe just lost refrigerant over time or the Schrader's leaking or something. So we'll go ahead and add some refrigerant. Just open up your suction because your suction is actually sucking the refrigerant into the unit. You can actually see your pressure is climbing. All right, let's see where we're at. All right, so we're just under 50. All right, you need to get it closer to 60, 65. Because you want a 40 degree, that, that 40 degree, 40 right there, that's where you want it. That's a 40 degree evap coil tip. Anything lower than that 40 degrees, if you start getting close to 30, 28, then it starts freezing up the coil. So you want it at 40. So go ahead. Put that thing up. Alright, let's see where we're at. Yeah, see, now we're looking a little better. Like I said, we need to get it up to 40. Yeah, it's a little bright up here. Sorry if you can't see too well on here. I'm trying to bring it up a little closer so you can actually see it. Um, let's see here. There we go. See, we're like at 35 now. We're looking at the green. The green is R22. So we're at about 35, give or take. Open your valve up a little bit more. See how we're actually climbing. We're almost at 300, so that's looking good on that end. All right. All right we're almost there. Let's give it a second just to kind of let it equalize. See the pressures go up a little bit. All right. See, we're actually getting closer to 300. All right, a little bit more. See, now we're just a little about, about 40, maybe a little bit more. Eh, well, it's about 40 now, so we're looking good on there. Um, now, let's see here. So, we got some ports to actually put some. Uh, there we go. Now, see this right here on this end, if you can see it, that's your supply, and out here is your return. So, what we could do is put a temperature probe in there just to see what our supply is. I don't know if you can 
see it. It's actually starting to drop. We're at 69 degrees, 66, 64. So we're looking pretty good. 63, 62. Yeah, we're looking really good. Because it's probably pretty hot in there because it hasn't been running. So you, you um, rule of thumb for um, AC air conditioning is a 20 degree split. So if it's 80 degrees in the building, that's your return is 80 degrees. So you're looking around 60 degrees supply. And we are about that. And as the room temperature drops, the supply temp drops. So you're always going to get around a 20 degree split. So if it's 75, that means you got a 55 degree supply. So right now it's looking, we have about a 79, 79 degree return with a 59 degree supply. So let that sit for a little bit. Check our pressures again. Come back around. Yeah, we're actually looking pretty good. You can notice, let's keep this camera straight, but we're at 40 degrees on the green. So we're actually looking pretty good. That's our VAP coil temp. And then our pressure is just under 300, so that's good. It means it's not um, over going over pressure, so it doesn't shut off that compressor. So we're looking pretty good from there. All right, let's check our supply one more time. Yeah, see, so we're staying around 59 degrees. So yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. Um, they only have one unit. They only have one unit for the building. Um, so it is actually pretty pretty warm in there. Um, they just have a couple of swamp coolers that are actually running for their uh, warehouse area. Of course, you know how those things work. They don't work actually pretty good in when anything over 80 degrees. They'll do decent, but eh. but you need AC in the summertime. Yeah, see, so we're staying around 40. There you go. So this side is your discharge. That's your high side. This one here, the blue one, is your suction. That's your low side. So just always remember, blue is low, red is high. As long as we stay at that temperature, we should be okay. Give you a quick tour of the unit. It's actually a package unit. Just a package unit there. See? Well, this one's actually a uh, heat pump. There's no gas lines to it, um, so it's actually a heat pump. So it has a reversing valve in it, so it actually reverses the flow of refrigerant when it's going into heating. So right now we're running and cooling. It's a heat pump, three-ton ICP. Yeah, our fans are running, indoor blowers running. Because that's another way too, you can look at your gauges. If you put your gauges on, and let's say your head pressure is about that, about close to 300, and your low pressure is even lower than that. It just keeps dropping and dropping. Either your um, indoor blower's not running, or your coil is plugged. Or there might even be a restriction in the line somewhere. Um, but most likely, um, um, your indoor blower's not working or it's iced up or it's plugged because of filters. So whenever you restrict air, your suction pressure will drop. Whenever you get rid of, let's say, your condenser fan uh, or the coils are dirty, then your head pressure will climb. It will climb until it just can't climb anymore and then it will trip it. Uh, mostly uh, high pressure switches, they'll run about 450 maybe 500 maybe 550 just depends on which one you get um, once it gets to that point it will shut the unit down shut the compressor off to protect it um, so right now we're staying around 300 a little under 300 so we're actually pretty good 300 over like 65 yeah we are yeah about 70 70 over 300 close to 300 so yep looking pretty good check our supply one more time make sure it's dropping yep now we actually are at 58 degrees so we're actually dropping the temperature in the room so now the supply is dropping so now it's uh, 78 in there instead of um, 79 so it's dropped a, a degree so we have our 20 degree split there you go 59 degrees 
so we're looking pretty good um, yeah so uh, main thing if you come up your condenser fans not running you may want to check your dual cap or your cap I mean your run cap run capacitor because that's actually what controls your condenser fan um, let's say if you came up and your indoor blower wasn't running your suction pressure was real low and your head pressure was kind of about 300 then you might want to check your fan if um, your fan also has a cap on it too so um, it might be a five or a seven and a half microfarad just depends um, you just have to look and just change like for like um, so that's how we're looking we're looking pretty good fans are running pressures look good and our supply is doing good for now been running all day so <laughs> So that's it for this one. Um, um, I will be downloading more videos. Um, the more service calls I take, the hotter it gets, the more calls we get. Um, so for right now, that's it for this one. Um, just going to keep an eye on it for another 10, 15 minutes. Make sure we're good. Pressures don't keep dropping. It stays the same. We're good. Um, so if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them at the bottom of my page and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you guys for watching.